Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So further details and information about how to join the challenge from as little as $9 a month are in the description below. In the previous video, we looked at 10 stocks that are at least likely to 2x in 2022. So please refer back to the previous video for details of the 10 stocks. In today's video, we're going to be looking at in more detail the potential status of Oilco. Is it going to be a private company? Is it going to be limited liability company or is it going to be an OTC stocks and also we're going to be looking at speculation with regard to potential conversion of shares uh, from MMTLP into oil coal if that if that is going to happen and a potential valuation so before we do that let's have a quick look at the chart for tick symbol MMAT and how it's been doing so far this week. Let's uh, have a quick look at the five day chart for Tixamal MMA team at material. So on the screen here, we can see the stock was tr trending down quite significantly. And we did see a reversal around about the 31st of January 2022. And it, it did seem to be heading towards the $1 mark. And then from around about a price of $1.40, it has shown some positive momentum up. And at time of editing, we can see it was up in excess of 11.68%. Uh, with a price of $1.87 so hopefully momentum carries this uh, towards $2 and also in excess of $2. Let's now start the analysis of Oilco so on the screen here in terms of a quick reminder of the status of Oilco this uh, was registered approximately six months ago so we can see here it's uh, registered as an incorporated company they've also identified the articles of incorporation as a for-profit company uh, it was incorporated on the 31st of August 2021, so quite a significant time ago. And uh, we can also see in terms of the president identified for Oil Co, it's uh, Mr. George Palikaris. So that's the general status of the company uh, Oil Co as of now. I'm now going to share with you five different types of private companies and try to identify which one Oil Co would fit into. So at the top here, first of all, we have sole proprietorships. These are companies where the, is, the ownership is just with one person. So we know that's not the case with Oilco. Uh, so we can rule that one out. Then we have partnerships. This is where the ownership is usually with two or more people. And there is also a status of unlimited liability. So that's certainly not the case. So it's not a partnership. Then we have limited liability companies. So we know it's not going to be that one as well because We've seen in the status the, on the previous screen that it is something that is uh, incorporated. So it's definitely not a limited liability company. Uh, and then we're at the bottom, we have two types of corporations. We have an S corporation and a C corporation. So it must be one of these. Uh, so we're going to go with the second one, which is a C corporation. And the reason for that is S corporations can have no more than 100 shareholders. And we do know there are going to be thousands of shareholders so therefore the status most likely for Oilco uh, to start with is going to be a C corporation. So at the moment it will be a private company. What's going to happen next and what will be the future? So let's now have a look at the status of a private company uh, with regard to Oilco. So on the screen here we can see a private company is a firm held under private ownership. So it's not traded publicly. That's a key difference with regard to OTC and NASDAQ stocks. So private companies may issue stock and have shareholders, but their shares do not trade on the public exchange and are not issued um, through an initial public offering. So if we get converted shares into Oilco and it remains as a private company, it's going to be very, very difficult to trade these shares, sell them and also buy them. So firms uh, and companies that also register as private companies, the other thing to be aware of is they're not going to meet uh, Security and Exchange Commission's strict filing systems and requirements. So that's not going to be the case in terms of uh, any regulation. It will not apply. Uh, in terms of valuation, uh, these kind of businesses are less liquid and also looking at uh, difficult in terms of valuation for them. So key takeaways, uh, private company is a firm that is privately owned. So we as holders of MMTLP uh, converted into um, oil coal are likely to be the owners if one, once it is a private company and as long as it is a private company. So private companies may issue stock and may issue may have uh, shareholders, but the shares do not trade on public exchanges that we've just seen. 
and are not issued through an IPO. And finally, a high cost of an IPO is one reason to stay private. So what will be the status after uh, the, the setup as a private company? So in my opinion, once we get the conversion into Oilco and it is a private company, I think the next stage after that will be move it to the OTC. The reason why we need it to move to the OTC is for our shares to become tradable. And that means to give us the opportunity to buy or sell. So uh, if we have a look at the screen here, this is what I think will happen next. And it will be moving on to the OTC pink. So uh, if we have a look at the screen, it says this is the least regulated of the three market tiers. And the requirements for getting listed on the pink are as follows. So first of all, the company will have to file a form 15C2-11 to FINRA. And the requirements will be uh, stated by OTC. And that will be uh, something that should be fairly straightforward. The company profile will have to be verified uh, through the OTC IQ. And there will also have to be an attorney letter if the company is not audited. So companies can trade on uh, the pink, including penny stock shells, distressed companies, uh, etc uh, but obviously we've just seen it's least reg regulated so this is uh, a likely outcome for oil co in order for us to trade the shares the next thing i'm going to do is uh, look at a quick uh, overview in terms of a potential conversion of the shares into oil co so this was also featured in much much more detail in a previous video so please refer back to the previous oil co video where i covered this in a lot more depth so, but in terms of a quick recap on the screen here you'll be able to see that there are currently approximately 165 million MMTLP shares and the company has stated in terms of oil coal uh, we have 250 million shares so what will is likely to happen is the 250 million will be divided by the 165 million giving each one of us uh, for each one of our MMTLP shares a conversion of 1.51 shares in oil co. And finally, just to finish off in terms of uh, an estimated value of common shares in oil coals after the conversion. So on the bear case, uh, bearing in mind the price of oil has gone up. So this is going to lead to an increase in the value of the land, increase in the value of the assets. So on a bear case, let's still remain with the $3. So the $3 is, will be multiplied by 1.51, giving us uh, a return for each MMTLP share of approximately $4.50. So on the bull case, uh, where we get best value, uh, we're looking at $9 multiplied by 1.51, giving us approximately $13.50. And finally, to finish off in terms of the two other scenarios that we could have is the best case scenario, in my opinion, would be just to have uh, an overall dividend payment and no conversion into oil co. I think that would certainly be the best case scenario. That will require sale of assets. And uh, a second scenario, which I think is certainly possible, that would be a, a situation where we get conversion of shares into oil co plus a cash dividend. So that's certainly a possibility as well. We've been given a time of the quarter one 2022 for a decision. This decision may not be immediate payment, but it may be a decision with regard to telling us what is likely to happen. So fingers crossed for a positive outcome. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.